In this video, we're going to show you what a variable is and how, how we use it in Linux, particularly on the command line and in scripting. So let's get started by first defining what a variable is and how it can be useful. Okay, so I have an example up here on the screen of a variable. Remember these, these basic math problems that you used to do in school, right? Where you had maybe the value of x is 5. And then you get a math problem, right? Where it says x plus 5. 2 equals whatever, something. Well, you just substitute x for whatever x is. So x is 5. So that means this is actually 5. So 5 plus 2 is 7, right? Now, the cool thing about variables is they're variable, meaning they can change, right? If we don't want to have x equal 5, we can have it equal, I don't know, 4. Now, this math problem is completely different. Now it's 4 plus 2 equals 6, right? Or we can have it be 154 or whatever else we want it to be, right? And we can go beyond this if we want to. We can also create another variable, y, which can equal 25 or something like that. And we can put y in here. And now we have another math problem with two variables, right? And all we do is we substitute that x for 125 and we substitute the y for 25, and that now equals 150, right? That is great. Well, why, why do we constantly have to do that? Why do we have to create these variables? Why can't we just put 25, 125, and 25 there just like that? Well, let me show you a few things. It all has to do with scripting and why we end up scripting. Now, let me first show you how to do variables on the command line. Then I will show you a script and that will hopefully explain why we use variables. So in the command line, we can do the same thing, right? We can create something like a variable, and a variable can be one letter, like it could be n equals Jared. Whoops, n equals Jared, like that, no spaces. Now, when I do echo, the way I call back what n is, if I wanna see like, oh, what's n? I can't just type n, right? Because the echo command just repeats back whatever I type there, right? So to tell it that, no, I'm not talking about regular n. I'm talking about what I will have n being represented as in this variable. So I can do echo dollar sign n, and it tells me that n's value is Jared, right? Now, it doesn't have to be a, a single letter. A variable can also be a name. For instance, it can be name equals Jared. Oops, I don't even know how to spell my own name. Jared. And then, if I echo that, remember you need the dollar sign, name. It says it's Jared, right? Now, if we ever wanna change this variable, we can. We can do name equals Mary. And now, when I do echo name, it says it's now Mary. Isn't that great? Well, how, how does this work in the script? Well, let's create a little script, right? So I'm going to open up Vim here and do script1.sh. Okay, so script1, here we go. Let's create a variable in this script. First, we're going to do our crunch bang. Got to go to insert mode, do our crunch bang. Bin bash. Okay, now we're going to define our variables. And I'm just going to do one variable for this instance. I'm going to use the name variable like we did up there, name equals Jared. And then the script I'm actually going to write is going to be echo hello dollar sign whoever's name, right? Well, we know it's going to be Jared, right? Let's do another echo. Um, we hope you are having a great day, dollar sign name, which should be Jared, right? And so forth and so forth. And every time I want to use Jared, I just substitute that with dollar sign name. And dollar sign name, the dollar sign just calls back. so. It doesn't just print name, right? That it'll actually print the value of name. That's why we put the dollar sign there. And when I run this silly little script, right? 
it now has substituted my name as part of that variable. Now, again, the, the question again is, well, why are we doing variables? I mean, it, it, it takes just as long to type dollar sign name as it does Jared, right? You're absolutely correct. But the problem, the problem is, is when you have multiple instances of something that you're using within a script or a program. So for example, let me open up our script here. Now you notice I've used my name twice within this script, right? What if now this script was going to go to Mary and Mary was going to use this script? Of course, her name's not Jared. So what she could do is just go up here and she can edit this portion of the script and that's it. Now every instance of name will now become Mary, right? So if there were a hundred different instances of Mary in this script, all of them would be changed throughout the script right? Instead of, if we didn't use this variable at all, and I actually typed in my name Jared here, and I typed my name Jared here, and I typed my name a hundred other times in the script, Mary, when she got this script, she would have to go in and she would have to change her name a hundred times throughout the script. But with the variable, it makes things really easy to adapt and change your script, right? And to, to be able to represent that. Now, um, a variable doesn't just need to be a name. It can be anything, right? It can be anything. It can be a number, right? Um, I can do X equals five and I can do echo number sign X. And I can do that, right? It could be an IP address. It can be um, whatever we want it to be. See, number five. It can be anything we want it to be. So I hope this helps explain why we have variables, what a variable is, and how we can use variables in Bash scripts.